It recently occurred to me that although I've done many Hunt Showdown videos over the years, I've never actually showed a full match from start to finish. And I think a lot of people who have watched these videos out of context, who don't play the game themselves, may have wondered what the hell's going on and just smiled and nodded. <laughs> so today we're going to jump into a game. I'm going to explain everything and just tell you about this fantastic game. Hopefully we can get a decent match. So this is the current character that I have. This is a new character. I've got some perks down here. The more you level up, you can add perks. You can also change your equipment. So you've got your primary, your secondary, you've got tools and consumables. And if I go into a match and this character dies, that's it. They're gone for good. That's the risk reward for this game. And you go into the game, collect bounties, you extract, you collect money, and then you can spend that on upgrades. So without further ado, we're going to queue into a match now see how it goes if you enjoy the video leave a like sit back relax let's get it okay so here we are in the game and on this occasion there are two bosses two bounties that we could potentially get if you look in the top left there's the crow and the spider and our objective is to locate one or both of them take them out get a bounty and try and extract one of these locations these are random every game as well the extraction points always on the edge of the map as well so how do we do that well we're going to use dark sight and see if we can find some clues we've got three here there's one up dead ahead of me here so we may as well get this one first and this will help narrow things down next building along Okay, there's actually a hive right on top of the clue. And we call her the bee lady. And if you alert her, she will send a swarm of bees in your direction. And if they get you, they poison you. On this occasion, I can't really see a quiet way of taking her out without alerting her. So I'm just going to shoot her in the head. Her sound, of course, is really important. And that gunshot was probably heard by other players. The audio design in this game is so good. You can easily pinpoint where people are. So there's the first clue in the bag. And that was for the crow. And that's going to narrow things down a bit. Okay, so it's not in any of these areas. Which is kind of annoying for me. The spider boss is over there somewhere. But for now, we're going to move across to the next clue. Which I think is that one there. Although there's one there too. I think that one's closer. Let's get there first. Not a big fan of moving through water because it slows you down so much. And there's also these horrible water demons that can murder you, make you bleed. I'll try and keep the low ground here too so I don't make wood noises. Okay, I've made it to the next clue. Because I'm playing solo here, I could be up against... Teams of one, two, or three. I think I hear an enemy player. Both bosses are banishing as well right now, which means they've been found. One dead ahead of me. There's two players next to me. Try not to make any noise. Hopefully they don't see me. Right there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's as quick as that. It really is as quick as that, the firefight. And those guys did not know I was there at all. And that's given me a massive advantage, just being stealthy. I think I got a bit lucky there, though, because I did run into this area. It's just maybe they didn't hear me. But that team are out now. I think there's only two of them. And if we look at the map, we've got Spider Boss here being banished. All the way down south is the Scrap Beak. And once those percentages go to 100 in the top left, they will drop two bounties each. And then players can pick them up. And that's their opportunity to attempt to extract from the level. You extract with bounties, you get more XP, more points, more stuff to upgrade your character. And that's what it's all about. So I'm going to head over to the spider boss here, Blanchett Graves. 
see what's going on. They're still fighting over there, south. So I think that's at the slaughterhouse. So it could be that there's only one player or one team here that have just done the spider. But I'm going to have to get there quick because if I don't, they can pick those bounties up and then they get five seconds each to look through the wall. They're going to see where I am. If I pick up a bounty, hopefully I can demonstrate that to you instead. Okay, so I think it's actually downstairs. In the graves. It's a really difficult area to attack though. All sorts of little cubby holes that you can be hiding in. If I leave it too late though, they're going to be able to see where I am. Okay, they're actually just in here. I'm dead. It's as quick as that. <laughs> One shot to the head. He was behind me on the right in a kataku. Okay, so that character is dead now. We go back to the main menu. We can roll a new character. But all of the traits I had on that guy, all the weapons, equipment, tools, wiped out. It's all gone. We'll roll another one. See how it goes. Okay, game number two. We've got two bosses again. This time it's the Butcher and Scrap Bait. Right. So, quite a small area there in the south. Where are the clues at? Well, quite close to me here. Lighting's a bit darker as well this time. It's not quite night time, but... It can definitely affect how you play the game. When the lighting changes, visibility and all that. Okay, first clue is in here. Hello, mate. Sorry to disturb you. You look like you were doing something important there with that machete. And what have we got here? Okay, it could be Darrow. On chat. Next clue is up ahead. These things here are supply stations, if you look at the map. They're like horse carriages. You can get ammo, health, that kind of thing. Special ammo. Some guns take special ammo. Usually the high power guns. We've got a big boy there. I do not like those at all. I tend to just avoid them. Some of the AI are a lot tougher than others. Oh, there's a player right there. Are you on your own? What were you doing? Oh, he's got a friend there. Tagged him. Right, I'm going to move around. Okay, I'm going to put pressure on this guy. So they have a chance to revive their friend here, but if I set the body on fire, which I'm going to do now, they will have to try and put that out. Because if the body burns out, they can't be revived. So they won't have a teammate anymore. Is there a choke bomb there? There he is. Okay, we got him. That's a duo down. Gunshot behind me. All right, okay. This guy is annoying. We call this guy John. You have to use blunt damage against him. If you shoot him or use sharp damage, like with a knife, he explodes and he will set on fire and start running after you and it's a whole thing. You don't want to... You don't want it. You don't want it at all. What did this guy have? Not a bad loadout. Do some looting. That's going to give us a couple of consumables back and some ammunition. They did use a choke bomb there. You can use those to put fire out, but they actually missed. And because I set them on fire, I can't loot them. There's all sorts of little intricacies with this game that you learn the more you play it. Can't carry anything else at the moment. Yeah, I think I just stumbled across those guys. You gotta watch out for environmental stuff as well. Let me show you around this corner. That can blow up and explode and cause poison damage. These birds here, if I get too close to them or sprint around, they'll actually fly into the air and they could alert any enemies around that I'm here. And you can pinpoint where people are very accurately if those set off. Gotta watch out for these dogs, they're horrible. Dogs are a nightmare to fight in duos and trios, but in solos. If the whole pack attacks you, you're in trouble. 
you're gonna have to use a gun to get rid of those. Two shots dead ahead of me there. That could be the team trying to kill the butcher. Might be up here. Take these out so I don't get any aggro. I don't see them. Hmm. Bit sketchy this is, to be honest. Okay, third clue's in here. John's over here. Are you going to see me, John? Yeah, that's not good. So again, we'll use blunt damage. Don't want to make him explode. Although him aggroing onto me there, people would have heard that. Those Christmas presents are just part of the holiday event. Just a temporary thing. It's been very quiet right now, listening for footsteps. I don't think there's anyone around. If there is, sometimes the clue goes red. And that lets you know that there's people nearby. But that's the third clue. And now we know that the butcher is over here at Blanchett Graves. So we're going to head over there. See what's going on. There could be people camping it. There could be people who've attempted to kill it already. There's so many question marks. We just don't know. But we'll go over there and have a look. Okay, you can hear gunshots. That sounds like a fight. I think I just heard someone die then as well. Making a lot of noise here though. I don't think they'll be paying attention though. They'll be focused on that fight. God, dogs. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot, I think. That was so annoying. I didn't see those at all. So I've lost some health bars there. Only way to get those back is to heal. Or if you banish a boss, it replenishes them all. Burnt through all my pistol ammo then as well. Four left. That's really annoying. Should have been a bit more careful there, I think. I can hear a player on my right. moving very slowly here. There's two, I think. Still players fighting behind me as well. There's a lot of people alive in this lobby. Up to 12 in total. Did they just put a trap down. They did something. I can hear the pig as well. They're just running around inside. Okay, so they've just killed the butcher right in front of me. Wow, no kill. Can't believe I didn't get that kill. Hit that guy three times. Okay, this is bad. It's 2v1 here as well. I'm almost out of pistol ammo. I'm going to use this to heal. So I don't burn through a health kit. If they pick up that bounty as well, they'll be able to see me through the wall, like I mentioned earlier. Man, I'm really, really upset that I didn't get that kill. I needed that kill. I mean, I could extract... I feel like 2v1 though, if they get the bounty, you know, being able to see me through the walls. I'm at a big disadvantage. No range either without that pistol. Butch is above me. Of course, another option I have here. Just go and extract or 
I can actually wait at one of the extractions. You see, they're quite close to this, so they might pick up the bounty and just go for that straight away. Hmm. Feeling a bit more confident now, though. I've got some pistol ammo back. I think what I'm going to do is head out to the extraction and wait for them. Although I know they'll be able to see me with dark sight. I think it's my best play right now, because if I run into that building, I'm probably dead. Could be that the other squad's run in there as well. Be an interesting one, this. Okay, so one of them just picked up the bounty. One of those guys. And that means that they'll be able to see me if they get within close enough range. And also, I'll be able to see them. See these lightning strikes here? That's them. That's the disadvantage of having a bounty. Other people can see you with the lightning strike. Oh, they might be able to see me crossing from there. Bit of a risk. See if it pays off. Okay, gunshot close to me there. I think they are actually coming this way. On the north side. Right in front of me now, I think. Do they know I'm here? Hey, you saw a dino at me? That's bad. I've got one shot left in my pistol. I'm going to set that guy off. See if it runs to them. Oh, he's looking at me. Damn it. Come on, damage there. He's flanked me. Oh my god. Where are you? Where are you? I think I got one, but they downed me. Let's have a look. Did I actually down the teammate? Yeah, I did. Couldn't get the other guy though. <laughs> Let's see if these guys extract. I don't think John went after them. Oh, that's me. Oh, they're looting me. No. <laughs> that was a good fight though. I enjoyed that. I mean, I was up against it. I think maybe what I could have done differently there is get a bit more pistol ammo so I had more range. So I was just limited there with the shotgun. But these guys, they've got both bounties. They're going to extract. They've got a kill on me at least. And as long as no one interferes with them in the next 30 seconds, they're going to get out alive and extract and get some more points for those characters. They're playing it smart though, to be fair, I think. Really lucky that that extraction was right next to the boss too. But I think these guys are home free. Well, that's the end for another character for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got a better understanding of how you play. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.